hope you all are having a relaxing Labor Day. I know some high school football teams are not resting as they prepare for their week two matchups. But up first, we have our week one top five plays. Let's have a look at them, shall we? Number five, starting out on Oscoda, Houghton Lake is going to cough up the ball, and Cedar Adam Hine is going to recover this ball. That sets up the Owls with excellent field position. The Owls would be able to take down the Bobcats by a score of 14 to 12. Oscoda's next game is this Friday as they travel to Coleman. At number four, late in the second quarter between the Posen Vikings and the Hillman Tigers, Posen's Chase Doobie is going to do a little shake and bake to be able to punch his way in for six. Another look here as Doobie is able to dodge a lineman. That would put Posen up 14 to six. Doobie led the Vikings in rushing with 92 yards. At number three, late in the game, Cardinals down two, threatening in the red zone. Dakota Gagnon would be able to punch it in for six. That would end up being the game-winning touchdown as the Cardinals take down Roger City by a score of 12 to eight. The Cardinals' next game is this Friday as they host Massey, and the Hurons will travel to Tawas to take on the Braves. Number two, with some more defense. Why Rommel is going to recover this fumble and take it all the way back for the touchdown. That was the first touchdown of the Viking season. Posen just couldn't pull it together in the fourth as they gave up 24 points and a 36-14 loss to Hillman. Posen will hit the road this Friday as they take on Pelson. At number one, Hal versus All Gray Sims. Hal is going to convert on this long pass down that is going to be a 70-yard touchdown. Hal was all over All Gray Sims in this one by a score of 30 to nothing. Hal's next game is Friday at Hillman, and All Gray Sims will host Atlanta. Voting begins tonight at midnight, and you can submit your vote for the top play of the week on Facebook. Voting closes Wednesday at noon.